Chris, thank you very much for the invitation to SLS Precision Engineers. Now, this wonderful Sodic AD55 die sinking machine's been here for two months. We're going to talk about this machine, but tell me a little bit about background of the company and what sectors that you actually serve. All right, well, it's a company that's been around for 40 years now. Um, I've been here for 30 of those years, originally owned by three directors, one sole owner now, and I'm the manager. Um, as far as the work we've been doing for the last 40 years and are still doing now, it's a, a wide variety of high precision, low volume, bespoke parts, servicing probably five different sectors. Um, so it's a, a complete variety of work and different aspects of machining throughout the shop. Uh, the Sparker Road being one key part of the whole process to provide a one-stop shop for small volume parts. Now, recently you've invested in this uh, brand new Sodic AD55 linear motion die sinking machine from Soditech UK. Now, there is a lot of uh, other EDM machines in the marketplace, but why did you opt for Sodic? Well, we started out with Sodic uh, 20, 25 years ago, um, and they've just been solid, solid machines all the way through. We want another machine that's going to last for another 20 years, and we're still going to be performing and doing the same jobs, same kind of work that we're doing now, and servicing our customers, um, which we've had for many years, and we, we hope still to retain in the future years as well. I mean, this is our first investment into the linear tool inside of it, and, and we're already seeing the benefits of it with some of the work that we've we're comparing it to what we've already done in the past. Um, it's, it's outperforming speed-wise, accuracy-wise, and the machine as well, also the wear rates we're getting on the electrodes. Uh, again, they're lasting far longer, so it's it's relieving pressure on other areas of the shop. So. And I, I think when you look at the Sodic machines, you know, they're very, very well made. You get a lot of backup from Soditech UK in, in reference to the training as well. Two months in, are you pleased with it? Oh, definitely. Without question, it's uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, we've never had a problem with Sodic in the past, anyway. Uh, but this has just stepped it up to the next level, and we're starting to we're doing more work on it. We're picking more jobs that we've done in other areas of the shop previously, and this is just more viable now. To it's, it's quicker to make an electrode and spark it on air than it is to mill or, or machine other methods. Um, Talking about components, now you've got some components here. Now, with this component. Um, why would you need an EDM machine to actually create this part rather than maybe using a three axis or a five axis machine tool? Well, I mean, this one in particular, I mean, this is the part that's came off the tooling and just making the tooling for it, it was very intricate inside the teeth detail and that's probably a key thing. You're limited to, well, internal radiuses on cutting tips or cutting tools on other processors, where when it comes to spark eroding, it's very easy to make a sharp male electrode, spark it in. If we, The kind of wear rates we're getting now on, on this machine, there's the very sharp corners that are left on the actual component afterwards, which, which leaves it as the, the ideal process to be doing this kind of component. Plus, you're not limited by the hardness of the material that you're working with. As long as it's conductive, you can spark it. So. And also, I noticed that you do a lot of mould work here as well. For instance, this yeah. this component here. I mean, you've you've got an array of different uh, mould tool components. But is that really what this machine is for? Uh, this this machine ideally is the main reason that we're wanting to get more of this kind of work, and it, which is the again the low volume, very high precision moulding parts is something that we've excelled at and we've built a business on over the years as a key, a key part of our moulding side. We've, we've got many other aspects of doing the larger moulds as well, but, but this kind of machining, it is, it is ideal for this scenario. And if we can capture a part of that market, then we've got past history there. That means we, we can be the leaders of the market. So with this uh, investment that you've got on the AD55 linear motor, does it give you extra capacity to offer the marketplace? Uh, yes, I mean, the, the increased speeds we're getting, uh, I mean, it's, it's larger tank than we had before, so we can set more jobs up at once. You get the benefit then out of running time over weekends or evenings. Um, so capacity-wise, yes, in, increased. It's small stuff that we do, so it's, it's more about the multi-cavity, um, being able to retain the sharpness of the electrode and to do more cavities in one go as a massive benefit. And, and that's where we can then offer customers similar prices for eight cavity rather than the four cavity. And so we're hoping that that will pay back in the future and, uh, and be a, a key part in winning more orders. And, this kind of work. and this type of machine is, is the larger one in the family, as I understand, but also it has a lot of components from the, the next level above. 
Uh, yes, yes, I believe so. I mean, this obviously it's specific to our work. We're, as, as a workshop, we're limited by the, the largest machine we've got. Um, this has stepped up from the previous size we had, so we've just lost, raised our game a little bit and expanded the envelope for the size of work we can do and the size of jobs we can fit on this machine. And finally, Chris, for any engineers that are looking to outsource work, bearing in mind you've got capacity, what would be your message? You can come and see us and you probably will be surprised at what we can do. We're, we're a one-stop shop. We've got everything from milling, turning, grinding, cylindrical grinding, jig grinding, spark eroding, designers. We've got everything and we're, we're engineers at art. We enjoy, we enjoy problems and we enjoy solving those problems. Great. Thanks very much for your time, Chris. Thank you. No problem.